I knew you'd be back sooner or later. You missed a lot. Greetings, Vincent. Why are you here? I'm responsible for King Radovid's safety while he's in Temeria. We'd be deep in it if anything would have happened to him. Has Foltest returned? Yes. He's an old Vizima. Knowing whose orders we're following really boosted morale. I need to get into old Vizima. I stand a chance of getting in alone, but not with... Do you follow? What's going on? I have a job for you, Dandelion, regarding King Radovid. The Witcher's flapping tongue would be a liability. Why do I think you're up to something? It's true. I'm not suited to converse with kings. Done. Dandelion, wait for me at the king's camp. Geralt, do what you must. Ah, you're in time for quite a scrap. Looks quiet. Oh, quiet at the front. Here they clash, there they grunt and again. Oh, quiet at the front. Yea, even one. Almost all Vesima's non-humans took up arms. How'd that happen? When the Order started killing women and children, even the most assimilated elves rebelled. Dumbest move since the age of King Desmod. Maybe the Grand Master wanted to provoke non-humans. As if that wasn't enough. Rumors surfaced about non-humans being resettled in Old Vesima because we're more susceptible to plague. Fucking fairy tale, of course. What are you doing here? We need to repel the attacking knights. Then I want to lead the civilians and Shani's patients out of Old Vesima. Shani's in Old Vesima? She organized a kind of field hospital at the old town hall. Coming with me? Naturally. See now, we shall be victorious. Gracious sire, this is madness. You should not expose yourself to such danger. Wait here and allow me to summon a stronger force. Nonsense, Velarad. This is my city, the capital of my kingdom. Damn it, I rule this land, and I refuse to creep around its corners. Uh, gracious sire! Silence! You know you might as well wipe your ass with those intelligence reports. I want to see it with my own eyes. Ah! Non-humans attacking! Uh, protect the king! Master, we're saved. You return, sire. I trust you are not too late. Your kingdom is in need. You should know kings are never late, Jacques. Sire, flames engulf half the city, and the blood of your subjects fills the gutters. This is no time for word games. You must act. What do you propose? Allow me to command your army and the freedom to do as I see fit. Never. Over my dead body. It was close this time. Next time, I might arrive too late to help. I've seen enough. Velarad, back to the castle. What is he doing here? He dropped in. He seems to have a talent for that. What shall I do with him? He'll come with us. I have a matter to discuss with him.
Witcher of Rivia. Sire, I am honored. As I'm sure you surmised, I have not summoned you here out of whim. A serious matter weighs upon us. A curse binds my daughter. I want you to remove it. I have gathered all who might offer aid. Dewet has been the princess's adjutant for the past half year. Velarad has known Adder since her childhood. And Triss Merigold is here for her extensive knowledge of magic and female intuition. Mm -hmm. Consult them and think upon this matter. We shall speak about it again soon. As you wish, your highness. In the meantime, equally urgent issues demand our attention. I'm listening, sire. Witcher, imagine returning home from an excursion against a monster, a Kikimor, for instance, only to discover your home a whorehouse. Your Highness. I'm not finished. Those you left in charge failed you. A traitor threatens to oust you from the home of your ancestors. Wouldn't you be angered? Would you not elect to shed more blood? Sire, your home also shelters the elves and dwarves you inherited from your ancestors. The fires and the slain are their doing. You cannot deny that. But in truth, I need peace in my kingdom now. Perhaps you should extend your serene benevolence to the non-humans. Promise them safety and equal rights. Perhaps. We'll send Velarad to negotiate. His elven features may prevent them from shooting. But I jest. Restoring order requires more. I'm certain you're right, sire. I must attend to some urgent matters. Speak with these excellent minds. Gain their insight. And don't forget my daughter, Witcher. I'm counting on you. I won't forget. My servant will summon you when I have more time. I rule a land of idiots. Geralt, I was worried about you. I worried too. I'm proud of you. Heard how you fought for Alvin. Horrible things are happening in Vizima. True, but the king has placed me under his, um, protection. Tell me, where's Alvin? Uh, Alvin vanished into thin air one day, despite the amulet I gave him. Vanished? That's awful. He might be anywhere in time and space. I had hoped the amulet would block those abilities. I hope he'll be all right. Triss, I've been thinking about us. Oh, Geralt. Triss, we can't pretend this is possible here and now. We are who we are, and neither of us wants to change. Mm-hmm. But I don't want to lose you. I didn't mean it that way. You're closer to me than anyone. I trust you completely. Geralt. But we both have things we must do. I don't expect you'd cast aside the interests of the Lodge. You're right. Believe me, Triss. I wish things were different. Geralt, hold me. Witcher? Count. No titles, please. Let us bury past misunderstandings in the name of a greater cause. So be it. Geralt? The king wants me to lift the curse that holds Ada. Not surprising. You succeeded once, though it nearly cost you your life. The Striga's appearance possibly spells the end for Foltest. Many say he offended the gods. Remember how she first became a Striga? Remind me. As a youth, Foltest had quite an appetite. So much so that he plowed his own sister. Their child died at birth, but then continued to grow in its coffin, only coming out to feed. Then you arrived and broke the spell, though apparently not completely. The Striga's reappearance proves the royal dynasty is cursed. The people are sensitive to such signs. No wonder Foltest wants you to kill the Striga. I thought I was supposed to lift the curse. You are to keep the Striga from becoming an eyesore. The chance of removing the curse is minimal. I've heard a rumor of an additional reward for killing the Striga. I'm not interested in rumors. You should be. It's your choice, Witcher. But give it some thought. Farewell.
waste of words. Wish on a star? A witcher? In my native Beauclair in the Duchy of Toussaint? A witcher once spent an entire holiday feast dancing with a sorceress. Not I, my lady. I dance rather poorly. Hmm. Do all witchers have white hair? No, my lady. I am alone in that. Perhaps I am confused. Regardless, I do have a certain matter for you. How can I help? Très bien. Mon dieu. My three cousins recently fled the city due to some uh, unfortunate coincidences. Did they incur the king's disfavor? Of this sort. I wish to send them some coin to alleviate their situation. Understand? Perfectly. I'll act as messenger for an appropriate fee. Ah, parfait! My cousins Corbin, Bus, and Ramoreau sought refuge in the swamp, in the caves there. Please deliver 300 orens to each of them. As for my fee... My cousins will give you a receipt. Take these to Ovezima, to the captain of the mercenaries, my fiancé. He will reward you. Farewell. Greetings, Geld. Greetings, Velarad. I saw you uh, speaking with the king. I gather it was unpleasant. It could be worse. Geralt. The king told me about Ada. Dreadful. You warned us it might return. Uh, can you break the spell a second time? We'll see. You seem to remember last time well. Certainly. You stayed from dusk till dawn in the old manor house where the Strigger had her sarcophagus. Kept half the city awake with the noise you made. We uh, went to the manor at dawn and saw the two of you lying on the floor by the sarcophagus in a pool of blood. You were barely breathing, but the princess was cured. With the traitor Ostrid dead, the king was overjoyed. Hmm. Many victims this time round? I don't know. These days, the corpses lie thicker than flies on a pile of manure. Know where the Striga sleeps in daytime? No, but she's been seen in old Vizima. Uh, she may hunt there. Removing the princess's curse will be risky. True, but the king has ways of encouraging you to do it. What do you mean? You have non-human friends. Help Foltest, and he might reconsider his decree about cropping ears and beards to a prescribed size. Understood. Geralt. Farewell. Maybe Venera. Geralt. What do you think about the situation with Ada? She's a Striga, Geralt. We both know that curses don't cast themselves. Any theories? Years ago, when you first removed the curse, you ordered the princess to wear a necklace with an inclusion. Juniper, broom, and hazel branches were to be burned in her chambers. Don't tell me. Someone replaced the necklace and added crap to the fire. Yes. Someone close to her who knew the secret. Velarad might know something. So you think I should aid the king? Definitely. In a sense, I'm a political prisoner. I could teleport away, but that would be highly inappropriate, and I still have a few matters to settle here. What might those be? Don't concern yourself. I know you're busy with Yavin and his elven friends. Triss, don't be that way. You made your choice, Geralt. I've got to go. Our merciful master will see you now, sir. Go upstairs to his chambers. I'll go immediately. Acting against procedures. I'm surrounded by imbeciles. Witcher, Your Highness. 
No need for titles. Speak freely. You've had time to think. What's the prognosis on removing the curse from my daughter? It's possible. Could the curse have returned by itself? Unlikely. Someone must have cast it again. Should you succeed, would... Would Ada's mind be that of a child? I don't believe so. She'd likely recall all that occurred before her transformation. You don't believe so? You're not making this any easier, Geralt. Do what you can to remove the curse. Failing that, you may slay her without fear of retribution from me. When I last gave you my trust, you did not disappoint me. Thank you, sire. Don't thank me yet. Should you learn who cast the curse, tell me and only me. If you succeed, I'll grant your every wish, within reason, of course. If you must slay her, do it quickly, cleanly. If you fail, and my daughter suffers, those dear to you will suffer too. I understand, sire. Good. Sire, another disease consumes your kingdom. What would that be, Witcher? I have been investigating an organization known as Salamandra. My daughter dealt with them, stupid girl. I regret I ever departed. To your credit, Venerad said you thinned their ranks considerably. I trust you shall finish the matter. Exactly my aim. One last matter, Witcher. Forgive me, but I had you followed. I received a report about your personal life. Your Highness. You must know that I hardly did this out of lewd curiosity. My spies report that you are romancing Merigold. I need to know if there is anything more to it. We're lovers. Nothing more, nothing less. Ha! I knew it from the start. My spies have much to learn. I suspected it was only sex. Enjoy, Geralt. If you desire to go to Vizima, talk to my Chamberlain. I shall be away from the castle for some time. See Velorad about any other needs. So I shall. Farewell, sire. <laughs>